What's up, YouTubers? My name is Hazel House. Welcome back to another sports vlog. It is cold and really snowy out there. And you know what? As a matter of fact, yeah, that's better. That's a little bit better, at least. <clears throat> a little bit, a little bit better. <sighs> Anyways, big day tomorrow, which is Sunday. The best of the AFC and the best of the NFC go head to head with the New England Patriots facing the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers facing the Arizona Cardinals. Surely it will be an excellent day of football. But let's be real here. No day of football would be complete without my predictions preceding it. And so, let me begin. I'm going to start off with the first matchup of the day, which is the New England Patriots versus the Denver Broncos. This is the first matchup between Tom Brady and Peyton Manning that isn't completely between Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. As we know, Peyton Manning is falling off a little bit. He's getting old. Injuries are catching up. The years of playing football at a very high level are catching up, and he's not anymore a god of football. And Tom Brady is already known to be the superior quarterback at this point. Whether or not you agree that he's better than him overall is not really the argument, because there's no argument that Tom Brady is better than him right now. I think the real battle here that I don't really see people talking about, just kidding, everybody's talking about it, is Tom Brady versus the stat that he's 2-6 and six in Denver. It seems like everybody brings up this number like it actually means something to him or to Bill Belichick or to anybody related to the New England Patriots organization in general. Just look at Tom Brady's reaction to barely being able to muster off two wins out of the last six games of the regular season while his offensive line couldn't protect for crap and he was thrown into a couple of specks of dust on the offense. And then Kansas City rolls into town, winners of 11 straight, arguably the best defense in the league, and any time we need any sort of offensive production, he was able to drive down the field in his one-dimensional offense, mind you, and score enough points to beat, you know, the hottest team in the league. Rant over. Moving on from that, I think Peyton Manning's inability to move the ball down the field consistently and effectively without the use of his running game, and even with his use of his running game, is enough alone to give the Pats an advantage. And so with all this in mind, and with the fact that Tom Brady is 2-6 and six in the past in Denver out of mind, I'd say the Patriots take this game 24-16. to 16. It's a close enough game, but far enough to show that a turnover or two is enough to make the difference. Now I'm going to move on to Arizona and Carolina. At the beginning of the playoffs, I gave Arizona the big edge to go all the way, and whoever the AFC brought with them, give them a run for the money. But with the way they faced Green Bay last week, with their inability to close out the game, even though they did eventually win it in overtime, and with Carson Palmer's less than average intelligence uh, level in a lot of his throws on uh, last Sunday, or yeah, last Sunday, I just kind of got worried that this is not a team that's going to go and beat the Carolina Panthers. They have a very smart defense. They have an offense that when they're locked in, they can beat any defense in the league. And I don't think the Cardinals come out with as much firepower on defense that the Seahawks had, and Carolina absolutely destroyed them in the first half. They took off the pedal in the second half, and I'm not worried about Arizona coming out and putting up 24 points like the Seahawks did in the second half of the game on Sunday. Um, I'm, I'm really... Like, I'm more confident in the fact that Panthers are going to beat the Cardinals than I am the Patriots are going to beat the Broncos. But don't tell anybody that. And I just think Cam Newton, when he's locked in, when he's ready, and when the running game is working, their offense and their defense combination is the most balanced unit in the league. And their team charisma and their coaching and the fact that it's at their home field, while well, last week Arizona almost lost to the Packers at their home field, is more than enough to for me to say that Carolina is going to go and win... 28 to 10 over the Arizona on Sunday and go on to Super Bowl 50. That's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to whatever team you're you're rooting for tomorrow, unless it's the Broncos. And I'm sorry that this was such a biased vlog. I try and un, I try and exclude my biases on most of my vlogs, most of my opinions. But when it comes down to it, I'm a Patriots fan and I can't ignore that fact. And the fact that if you look at my other vlogs, you can tell that, and if I try and hide the fact that I'm biased, that almost looks a little bit worse. So, good luck to whatever team you're rooting for. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check for future videos because I'm trying to put out more in the future. And uh, have a great day.